teach sculpture and printmaking at Georgetown College in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, at the fair this year, I'll be featuring a bunch of handmade objects, including cutting boards, kids' toys, um, reproduction tools. Uh, I have a love of hand tools and handcrafted objects, as well as just the appreciation for trees in general and how they serve us as people. Growing up, I always uh, appreciated handmade things and, uh, and just playing with traditional toys. You know, I think today on a generation that's lost in a computer age, something is really beautiful and wondrous about handling a wooden object like a top or a camera. And uh, this goes all the way to adults, though, so using kitchen cutting boards that are traditionally made uh, makes your life just quite better, you know, in a, in a subtle way. My grandfather was a clock repairman, and I've always been inspired by his shop. He had so many specialized little tools and everything working by hand, only a radio for sound, you know? And so um, as a craftsman, I really value the hand tools. I value seeing how things were traditionally made. You look at how things were made 100 years ago, and we boast about our technology, and we boast about how um, fantastic iPads are and all that stuff, but they had none of that, and we can't even do what they did back then with the tools they had. I think for the first time at the fair this year, it's, it, it was such a challenge to pick what to showcase or what to do. So instead of trying to focus on one thing, my goal was really to kind of show a sampling of everything that I do as a craftsman and artist. So it'll be featured to see everything from small objects, relatively inexpensive, to larger works of art uh, for collectors. Like I said before, when I was a kid, uh, I valued playing with a stick in the backyard or playing pretend and all those types of things that I think are, are being lost in our culture. And so I made a real conscious effort to try and make toys that evoke imagination or a form of entertainment that's outside of electronics. And the most traditional of that being a wooden top. Something that is very simple, but also takes some uh, coordination and practice, uh, but is also fun. And it, I think it livens up not only children, but it makes a connection between adults and their kids and brings them back to a time when they were growing up. So it serves not only the purpose of entertaining or teaching a child, but also bringing to life the nostalgia of an adult.